Good morning, everyone. It's Miriam Pinellas with Hasidus' Medicine. Today is day 36 of the Omer, and today's attribute is Chesed Shebe Yisod. We are entering the week of Yisod. Today is the first of it of the day of, Yis, of this week of Yisod, and Yisod is bonding. Um, the foundation, foundation of the body as well, the organs of reproduction and intimacy. This is going to be a week about relationships, so pay attention. Relationship with self, with God, with the people in your life. Today's attribute is about bringing chesed, expansiveness, loving kindness into our bonding and into our relationships. Today's also Erev Shabbos. Um, it's, a, it's a day um, to explore expansiveness. Tomorrow, Shabbos, I won't be able to do a video, but tomorrow's attribute is Gvura. The constrictions, limitations, and boundaries in relationships. So today I'm going to speak a little bit about both and how they interconnect and work together. I want to start, um, we, we've said about the springtime and about Mitzrayim and Pesach that it was an expansive energy, a going out of self, of constriction. And the Bovavi writes in this book, Getting to Know Yourself, amazing book, um, that all of the souls, there's two directions of the soul, um, expansiveness and contraction. And that all of life can really be summed up between these two movements of energy, opening, expansive, and contraction. Um, we can think in the physical body of the lungs, expansiveness and contraction, inhaling and exhaling. This is the pace of life. This is the breath of life. So it makes sense that this can, that the soul's movements and all of movements in life can be summed up by these two directions. There are other directions um, that the organs take and life takes, but we're speaking now of the soul and healing, the opening and the closing. And we're thinking about this in relationships. Chesed is expansive. Kavura is contraction. Let me read from here. When a person analyzes himself, he must categorize all movements as either expansion or contraction. Certainly, the degree of expansion and contraction will not be identical in every situation. In general, the soul moves either to expand or contract. In the language of Chazal, expansion is referred to as the aspect of chasad. That's today, expansion. And contraction is referred to as the aspect of din. And there are no other kinds of movements. So a person can really begin to understand what's happening within their body and within another person by thinking about these two directions. Chesed, giving, enhances bonding. It's, and, and it works to expand the vessel. So in the physical body, any symptom, discomfort, shortness of breath is coming from a contraction. So we can feel this on a physical level, um, within a, in Chinese diagnostic medicine, you can feel a contraction in the, in the vessels, muscle tension, headaches. Most things can come down to too much contraction in the body and not enough breath, not enough flexibility, not enough ease. So too in relationships, when we're getting met with, um, upset, defiance, um, restriction, sadness. Also, there's usually to an excess of constriction, an excess of gvura and boundaries, and not enough chesed. And we define chesed as love, and this can be love to self, doing chesed to myself, or, or to another. So the challenge for today, as we move, and, and this week of Yisod, is how much breath, how much expansion, chesed, can I bring into my body, into my relationships, too often we're, ve we're very good at the gvura, tomorrow's energy. We're very good at the limitations and the boundaries and the, the path and keeping things a certain way. But the work really now is about the expansion, the opening. This is on the physical level, it's breath. In a heart level, it's, it's love. And some, this is one way to, to deepen and open relationships using this aspect of chesed. 
And I also want to mention, and I'll post in the chat, it says the Jewish people, when Moshe came to tell them it was time to leave Egypt, it was time to be redeemed, they couldn't hear him. They couldn't accept it because they were short of breath. And Chazal have many ways that they, they define what it means to be short of breath. It could be in the mind, too restricted in the mind, that I can't even fathom that life can be another way. Um, it could have been, you know, fatigue and stress, not literally, physically not being able to take in a breath. And so on and so forth, and I'll send the link. But this is the, the consciousness and energy of today to bring breath, love, ease, and space into my day and into my relationships. Have a beautiful one and a great Shabbos.